Welcome back. Today on Real Reviews, we are here with the Canon Color Image Class. This is the MF656 CDW. This is a wireless color slash black and white printer, fax, scanner, copier, all kinds of stuff. I'm really only going to be using this thing to print most likely and maybe copy and scan. So no faxing for me. So we're not going to be doing nothing related to fax today. We're going to get this thing out of the box, see what it comes with, get it set up on a network and see what kind of quality we have. So first things first, Supposedly, we're gonna open the top here and it's just gonna kinda of like, I don't know, come right off. So let's try it out here. Okay, here we go. All right, get that out of the way. Let's see how this is going to work. So basically the way that this box is, it looks like it has some type of like pieces right here folded in. So once you unfold these pieces, then the box can actually come off. So now it's unfolded, you just go like this. Woohoo, there you go right off okay so now inside here we got our printer now supposedly it has these tabs on the side so if you look right here it has like some tape so you're gonna grab this tape you're gonna break it or rip it off and then those open up you're gonna do the same thing on the other side right here grab the tape just pull it off and then these are gonna open up and then the box just falls down just like that so now next thing we're gonna be doing we've got to pull these sides off right here just pull this off there's actually a piece inside of here some type of piece, so don't uh, don't lose that or whatever. Drop it. And we also have, we have a, I guess the fax line. And then we have our uh, power cable. Get that off to the side. Now we can just take this off. Set this over here. There we go. And now what else do we have in here? We have our setup guide, important safety instructions. Setup guide and user's FAQ. So that's what we have right here. It looks like it also comes with a CD. You want to set up on your computer. And this you don't have to rip. It has like a little tab right here. Just pull it and keep it nice. So you also have a, uh, here we go, MF605C series suite. So if you want to set this up to use your computer, this is the disk you're going to be using. Probably pretty self-explanatory. Today we're actually going to just be using it with, the, uh, with a tablet on Android. So that's the way we're going to be setting it up. And we're just going to just try to get through it without using this at all. So now this printer is heavy. Supposedly it weighs 50 pounds, 48 pounds. So we might as well just say 50. So it is kind of heavy for a printer. And it's very nice. Look at that. Wow. I like that. Nice five inch display on it. Kind of moves around. And there's tape everywhere as you can see. So now what you have to do, you have to basically grab this printer. And pull it out of the box. It's supposed to be a two-man job, but 50 pounds isn't that much. No big deal. Get this over here on the table. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. So there's all sorts of tape on it everywhere that you got to take out. I guess we're just going to start here. Start at the top. Start pulling some of this stuff off. Some of these parts don't really feel like that strong, so be very careful when you're taking the tape off. You don't want to break anything. Open that up. All this is a little bit flimsy. It's not quite as strong as I remember on some of my older printers, so just be careful with it, and I'm sure it'll work just fine. So you're going to have a good probably 15 minutes of just taking tape off of this thing. So be prepared for that. And take your time. No point of messing anything up, breaking anything, because all of this stuff looks kind of delicate. Look at all these little pieces trying to protect pinata and some of these pieces of tape right here you actually have to lift this printer up to get them out like that piece and this piece right here almost done we're almost done now right here we do have some tape inside of here this is really really i don't know you're supposed to take this tray out first before you get this out it seems really really kind of flimsy there now here's the paper tray everything seems a little bit I don't know, kind of cheesy, because I'm I'm kind of old school from back in the days of the LaserJet, you know, four series, LaserJet four thousands. So working, you know, offices with those types of printers, and they were a lot stronger than this. Now I know this doesn't cost thousands of dollars either. I think this costs like three hundred dollars right now on sale. So I guess it can't be exactly the same, but I know it feels a little bit cheesy there. We're gonna see how it works though. Well, let's see, we can get this tape off. Okay, well that tape is off. See how this door is. It doesn't really feel like it's like, oh, there we go. Okay, so it does actually come down. 
door actually comes down. This is these are the printer cartridges. I'm not sure how these slide out or how you even access those. Actually, oh look, the whole drawer just comes out. So this whole piece is the cartridge. So your black, your cyan, your magenta, and your yellow. Those kind of slide in. Now, initially, I don't think there's anything you need to do with those until you have to change them out. So just keep this drawer closed. Okay, that's done. Let's see, make sure we got all the tape off of it. I don't see any other tape. There's a little blockage right here. Do not connect the USB cable before installing the software. Okay, so that's for your USB cable. And then back here, this is like the fuser area. Sometimes you get a paper jam. You might have to open that up to clear your paper jam. So you have your power switch right here. Actually, your power plug right here. And I don't know if there's a power switch on it anywhere. Do you have a power? I don't see a power button. Here's your fax stuff. Here's your internet connections. Power button's right here in the front. Okay, so we're finally done taking all of the tape off the printer. That probably took about 10 minutes just to find all the tape and get it all off, as you guys just saw. Um, there is an extra piece that comes with the printer right here. Just go ahead and mention that. I don't know if you guys are going to get this with your printer or not, and I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to try to figure this out, and once I do, I will let you know. So now this setup guide, we're going to go ahead and set this to the side. We don't need that right now. Before we plug this thing in, let's go ahead and measure it for you. So first of all, we have, let's see, we got, okay, so it's about 16 and a half inches across. Probably like about 17 and a half inches deep by about, what do we got here? About 17 inches tall. And it supposedly weighs 48 pounds. So I might as well say about 50 pounds is what it is. And now just a couple of fun facts about the printer. Go ahead and put some paper in. It has a 250 sheet right here, paper tray. Go ahead and put that in there. Ta-da, 250 sheet paper tray right here. You have the 50 sheet document feeder up here. And then this does have a 1200 by 1200 DPI for printing and copying. For scanning, it's 600 by 600. It does do double sided copying, double sided scanning, and also double sided printing. So that's pretty much everything about that. And oh, actually, one more thing it does do 22 pages per minute, no matter if you're doing color or if you're doing black and white. So that's also cool. Let's go ahead and take this cable out right here, open it up here, get this thing plugged in, and see what we get. All right, so just basically, you know, normal plugging in your cable. There we go. Power button right here. It says Canon. Now there is a film on the screen right here. I didn't take it off quite yet. Just let it finish doing its thing. I guess it's just like the warming up process. So I guess we can go ahead and go through this. So we're gonna pick English. Yes. Uh, United States. And Eastern time, current date settings. So what are we at? We're at one. There we go. And the time right now. Here we go, PM, apply, and what does it say here? Do you want to use remote UI to use the application library necessary information for search and register? No, I don't, I don't need to do that. No remote anything. It doesn't like the no button, or that finger doesn't work. There we go. Do you want to connect, correct the color for a more accurate reproduction of the original? Yeah, might as well, right? Allow paper, a four letter, plain, one to three, recycled, one to two, thin, so this is the type of paper that you can use in the drawer. So um, from one to three, that's the thickness. Or recycle one to two and let you use A4 or letter. So go ahead and say yes or okay. There we go. Print the image for adjustment. Scan the printed image for adjustment. Try that. Now supposedly it takes about 10 seconds for the first print to come out. So we're going to see right now. And I guess you can lift this up, kind of hold the paper in place. Now, this is supposedly something that you want to do when you first get this printer. You do want to run it through this, this um, setup right here with the color adjustment. And that does supposedly allow for better color reproduction from what I was reading. So I would definitely recommend taking the extra time and just getting this step done. Only It's only one time. I guess every time you change your cartridges, it's once. Now, this printer does use 067 cartridges or 067H for the ones that are high capacity. So we got here. Okay. So now... It tells you right here the way to put it on the screen. So like the blacks up at the top, you're lining it up with the upper right hand corner. So you're going to basically be putting it in like this. The black up at the top, line up with the upper right, upper left hand corner. Just like that. This paper is a little bit folded up. All right, get it in there like that. Start scanning. Scanning image for adjustment. There we go. So I guess this does take a couple of minutes. All right, printer, and that's about enough. Get done. We can press some buttons. 3,000 years later. Finish, yay. 
Do you want to use the wireless LAN to connect to the network? The setting can be configured later. Yes, we're going to be using the wireless LAN. Let's go ahead and get this paper out of here. Set that off to the side. Okay, so guys, now we're going to go ahead and get connected to the network. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. You can actually come in here, click on your wireless LAN settings. You can click your network and put your password in, or you could do the way that I'm going to do it right now. Go to other connections. You could do WPS push button mode. So you go press the WPS on your router. It's going to start flashing, and then you come in here and you press this, and it should connect. Here we go, connecting. This makes it easier than have to, you know, type in a password or whatever. So boom, we're already connected to a secure wireless network. So now we can go back home. Now we're actually on the network. Now next thing you're going to want to do is you need to get the see on the tablet right here. You want to get what this is right here, the Canon Business, Canon Business app. This is for Android. I'm going to be using the Canon Business app on Android right here in the App Store. Go ahead and install that. Canon Print Business. I can leave you a link in the description, or you can connect it to your computer with the CD that it comes with. Now go ahead and click on Open after it's done installing. I don't want any notifications, so I'm going to click Don't Allow. And now you do have to agree to the software agreement, but you don't have to agree this, to this extended survey. So you can just put Disagree there. And do you want the extended survey screen to be displayed again from the next time? This setting can be changed. I don't want to see that anymore. Just put no. And now we're up here. And now we do need the Canon print service. That's not installed. So we have to say, okay, we have to install it. That's going to give us the pop-up window. Click just once or whatever you want to do. Install the Canon print service. There we go. And now we should be able to go back over to our printer. We're going to select our printer. So once you get in here, you're going to say add printer. We're going to search auto search and here it is mf 650 c series click on that it has the addresses whatever you need click on add and there we go we have our printer there so that's all we need to do so now if we want to go ahead and print something we can go to our documents let me go ahead and print something to the printer real quick so i'm going to choose something from my document something i have in here i'm going to print this real review license plate tag and let's see we we'll go ahead and just click on print and it looks like it's going to go like a full page right here and you can choose here, let's see what settings we have here. We can put output method, print, letter, copies, just one, print range, all, paper source. Uh, so two-sided, we only have one-sided. And let's see, image quality, standard. What else do we have? High quality and standard. So let's just leave standard, see what that looks like. And we'll go ahead and click print. See how long it takes. Now, just as a comparison, I have one that I printed with another printer which is a Rico, and let's see how it compares to the print from the Rico. I'm really excited to see this because this is the reason that I purchased this printer because I was not happy with my Rico printer. So here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Wow. Look at the difference. I mean, that is mind blowing right there. That's not even like a little bit. That's crazy. There you go, guys. So it's not, it's not like the, the best quality plastic, but does it print good? I gotta say, yeah, look at that. Look at that difference. I mean, that's night and day. That's just cra incredible right there. That is incredible. So there's that. So now we're gonna try something else. Go ahead and put this off to the side. I'm gonna try something else I've been wanting to try here. We're going to scan. So we're gonna grab this book right here. This is the I Love Orlando magazine with this nice picture there. Look at that place. I don't know what that is. Probably like Dolphin Cove. Oh, here we go. Discovery Cove, Orlando. Let's go ahead and print it. Can't afford to go there, so at least I can print a picture of it, right? All right, here we go. Go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and bring up the home screen. All right, let's see how we do this. So this is going to be a copy. I guess this will be copy. And we're going to do color. And let's see, two-sided off. Just one thing there. And how do we start it? Start color, just right here. And there we go. It's copying it. I'm excited. Let's see how this is. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's take out the book. Right here. Here's the book right here. And here is the copy. Wow. Look at that. That's really good. That's really, really good. It's so close to the original. I mean, it's so close. It looks like the water is a little bit darker over here, but I mean, the difference is just like, you can't even really tell. It's just very, very close. And the yellow here is actually brighter than the yellow on an actual document, an actual brochure. So there you have it, guys. You have two different prints right here. 
Here we go. Check that out. Check that out. I mean, that is just amazing. That is just amazing. Put this next to each other like this so you can see the difference. So there you have it. This is the Canon. This is the Color Image Class MF656CDW printer, wireless color laser jet printer. So from what I could tell you right now, I like it. I think it's cool and I would definitely recommend it. There will be a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. My nice printer right here, my new printer. I'm excited to be using it. The only one thing is that the cartridges are a bit expensive. I may be coming back with another review because I have something special. Stay right there. I have a box here with some aftermarket cartridges. So there will be another video. And we're gonna see how those compare to the originals. Okay, so I kind of figured out what this piece is for right here. Supposedly, if you use a different size of paper in a printer, they, they're saying legal paper, but it doesn't seem like that makes sense. But supposedly, if you use a, a, a different size paper in a printer, it makes the drawer stick out a little bit, and this kind of covers the drawer where it's going to be sticking out. So let me just go ahead and show you real quick what I mean. Now, right here, this is for regular letter paper. This, that's for letter right here. If you do legal, it's just going to basically pull that back. So legal does not make the drawer stick out. So I'm not sure what they're talking about, but this does kind of fit here. As you can see, it has these two holes right here, this and this right here. They go here and here. So you kind of just kind of get this on here lined up and it kind of just goes down here. It doesn't, it doesn't push all the way down. I couldn't get it down. I didn't want to force it and break it, but that's kind of like the only place I can see where it actually fits. So there's the answer to that question as to what came in this bag <laughs> and where does it go? So that's it right there. That's supposedly where it goes right here on the front. Okay, guys, so I found out about the photo paper, if you're able to use it or not in this printer. And actually, this is photo paper. Can you see it right here where it's kind of shiny? The shininess is actually only in the white area. So like right here between the letters where there's no color, right here at the bottom is shiny, but the rest of it doesn't have that same shininess. See how it's shiny everywhere, but it's not shiny in the colored area. It like loses the shininess. Right there, how shiny it is at the bottom. Only in the white area is it shiny. The reason that is that it has like a coating on it, it has a glossy coating but the laser printer ink covers the glossy coating and it takes it away so there's really it really defeats the purpose of having shiny glossy paper in the printer first of all and second of all canon does not support this type of paper at all no glossy photo printer paper at all it will probably void your warranty it will probably damage your printer because the heat can actually take this gloss off and wrap it around the rollers inside of the printer which would not be good so you don't want to use glossy photo paper in your printer. If you want to use anything to print photos at all, what you're probably going to want to do is you can actually get paper that's called coated and it has some type of special coating on it. They have a different uh, levels of it and you can look into that or contact Canon directly, find out what paper they have coated. And that helps the ink to go on it a little bit better and make a little bit better image. But as you can see right here, this is a really nice image. And if you were to take this right here, maybe on some better, thicker, maybe coated paper, and put that behind the frame, that would already look nice, just like this. This would already look really nice. It already has kind of like a shine to it. That's really all you need, some type of paper like this. If you want to print photos on glossy photo paper, guys, you're going to have to get an inkjet printer, unfortunately. That's just not, not what a laser printer is designed to do. I'm a little bit disappointed too because I kind of wanted to print pictures on it like that on glossy paper. Unfortunately, laser printers are not designed to use glossy photo paper. So that's it for that. Now, as far as like label printing, you can still print on labels. You can print pretty much on any other type of paper that's actually intended for laser printers. And if you go on the Canon website for your model of a printer, you can actually find the different paper types that are supported by your printer. So you're not like putting something in there that doesn't belong. And then, uh, you know, if you really don't know what type of paper and you're really confused, call Canon up just to make sure, just to double check, you're not going to be voiding a warranty or anything like that. But this is all purpose paper, actually, what this is that I'm using right here. It's for laser or for inkjet. So, you know, you can buy just laser printer. You can buy a better card stock, buy a better um, you know, thickness, more mills of thickness, and maybe get some better prints out of it. Now, this printer, um, a lot of people were complaining about it on Amazon that, um, you know, supposedly when they were scanning, if they scanned too many pages, it started making noise. Or if they printed too many pages, it was making some type of noise. Now, this is the thing, guys. These people were scanning. 400 pages printing hundreds of pages at a time this is a this is this printer is intended for your home it's intended to just do normal stuff in your house maybe small business things but it's not intended to be like a corporate printer it's not intended to be like printing like a ton of stuff all at once because it just doesn't have that build quality 
This printer costs, I think it was like $400 and on sale it's like $300 right now on Amazon. If you want one of those corporate office printers that can like just print everything, you're talking thousands of dollars, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars. So three hundred dollars, three thousand dollars, you know, that's a big difference. So, you know, this is just for your house. This is for fun stuff. This is for printing, you know, cool, fun stuff, you know, documents for school, for your kids, um, you know, just stuff that you might need to print for whatever reason. Pizza coupons, you know, anything like that. And now last but not least, the warranty for this printer. This is a three year carry in exchange warranty. And basically what that means is that if you have a problem with the printer, not the cartridges, because there's a separate warranty for the cartridges, but you have a problem with the printer itself, something that's covered under the warranty that you didn't actually do to it, they will either exchange the printer or they will replace the part for free. They, you know, free of charge to replace the part. There is a possibility that they could even send you a part if it's a user replaceable part, whatever that means. I don't really know. Maybe if you like, you know, this door comes off, maybe that could be user replaceable. I don't really know what that would be considered. But anyhow, you can carry it in exchange it out or they will replace the part for free. Three years, three years, carry in exchange warranty on this printer. So there you have it. No photo paper, no glossy photo paper, three year warranty. I scanned a bunch of documents in here. I was actually scanning, I was actually scanning these in right here. These are like 3D, I don't know, 3D stereogram pictures. And this paper is pretty thick. I mean, it almost stands up by itself. And I just put a stack of them in here. I just stuck a stack of them in here like this, and I just scanned a whole bunch of them. I scanned like 30 of them in a row, and they all went to my phone. No problem whatsoever. It didn't jam. I didn't do two-sided, even though you can do two-sided scanning, but I had no problem with it whatsoever. And with the little bit that I printed, I didn't have any problems, any weird noises. Uh, it seemed to work really well. I really enjoyed printing on the printer. I definitely am going to enjoy the printer. If I have any problems with it, I'll let you know. You know, if this is a printer that you might want to get, so you guys could do your own research and see, you know, read the reviews. You could always pick it up. And if it doesn't work for you, you could always return it. But for me, for my purposes, I think it's going to work great. And if anything weird happens, I will let you guys know right away. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments and I will try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Anyhow, guys, that is about it for this printer. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time.